The GAO findings are in, SpaceX is one, Blue Origin and Dynetics are out, let's launch right into all the details. Well, welcome back to the launch pad. Well, after months of waiting, the Government Accountability Office, the GAO, has officially released a statement on their findings in regards to the protests filed by Blue Origin and Dynetics against NASA for the Human Landing System contract. On April 20th, NASA awarded SpaceX the sole contract for the first round of the Human Landing System program. NASA at the time said SpaceX had the lowest price, the best option with a lot of flexibility depending on the mission requirements, but also admitted that it was a risky choice choosing Starship as it hadn't successfully landed yet. Just 10 days after the HLS contract was suspended and NASA ordered SpaceX to stop all work on Lunar Starship. SpaceX did continue to work on their Starship as they have many other plans for the vehicle, but that work would all have to be self-funded. Well, today we finally have the official statement from the GAO, and it's a very exciting day for SpaceX, and I would think NASA also. The U.S. Government Accountability Office has officially denied the protests filed by Blue Origin and Dynetics. NASA awarded SpaceX $2,941,394,557 after noting that SpaceX submitted the lowest price proposal with the highest rating during the bidding process. NASA also stated that the offers submitted by Blue Origin and Dynetics were significantly higher in price and each had some issues. NASA also concluded that the agency lacked the necessary funding to make more than one award at this time. In the challenges filed at the GAO, the protesters argued the agency was required to make multiple awards consistent with the announcement's stated preference for multiple awards. Alternatively, the protesters allege that the agency was required to open discussions, amend, or cancel the announcement when NASA, after the receipt of the proposals, determined that it had less funding than it needed to support multiple HLS awards. The protesters also argued that NASA unreasonably evaluated all three of the proposals. Finally, the protesters argued NASA improperly waived a mandatory solicitation requirement for SpaceX. Having now denied the protest, the GAO has first concluded that NASA did not violate procurement law or regulation when it decided to make only one award. NASA's announcement provided that a number of awards the agency could make subject to the amount of funding available for the program. In addition, the announcement reserved the right to make multiple awards, a single award, or no award at all. In reaching its award decision, NASA concluded that it only had sufficient funds for one contract at the time. The GAO further concluded there was no requirement for NASA to engage in discussions, amend, or cancel the announcement as a result of the amount of funding available for the program. As a result, GAO denied the protest arguments that NASA acted improperly in making a single award to SpaceX. The GAO also concluded that the evaluation of all three proposals was reasonable and consistent with the applicable procurement law, regulation, and the announcement's terms. However, the GAO did agree with the protesters that in one limited instance, NASA waived a requirement of the announcement for SpaceX. Despite this finding, the decision also concludes that the protesters could not establish any reasonable possibility of a competitive prejudice arising from this limited discrepancy in the evaluation. The GAO decision is not a reflection on the merits of the proposals, but looks solely at the laws and regulations and ensures the selection was fair. Judgments about which offer will most successfully meet the government's needs are reserved solely for the procuring agency, subject only to statutory and regulatory requirements. So this is a huge win for SpaceX, and we soon expect NASA to instruct SpaceX to resume their research and development of the Lunar Starship. Currently, we only have the press announcement of these findings. Today's decision was issued under a protective order because the decision may contain proprietary and source-selective information. The GAO has directed counsel of the involved parties to promptly identify information that cannot be publicly released so the GAO can prepare and release a public version of the decision. But that's it. SpaceX has officially won the human landing system contract, and the lunar starship is what's going to return man and bring the first woman to the moon in just a couple of years. Let me know in the comments what your thoughts are about this protest, the GAO's decision, and if you have any questions, you can drop them in there also. That's all for this update, but be sure to engage that subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss another space news update or anything else space. This is Zach with the Launchpad, signing off.